Hey guys, Tony Cotaspati here. I have to talk to you about the speech Obama gave tonight. I'm telling you, it it just it's it just gets to be unbelievable. Now, look, I'm not saying you know agree with Obama, disagree with Obama. I'm not even going to get into the the substance of what he said because you know it, it, it to me that's not even the most important thing about the speech he gave tonight. It, and it. I want to talk about something that nobody seems to be talking about on any of these pundit shows where they just like yell back and forth at each other. Think about this. How many times has it been now that our president has completely done a 180 on an issue? I mean, just a ridiculous 180 after like, not just like mentioning once or twice how he felt about something, but like dozens of times saying emphatically, without reservation, without caveat, without any condition, this is how I feel, this is how I feel, this is my position, this is my position. And then, oh, well, no, that's not my position. My position is actually the opposite of that. He Remember when he was running for president in 2008 and he was asked a question by one of the, you know, big reverends, I forget his name, you know, it was at the, at some saddle something or other. And he, he was asked, what is the definition of marriage? And he said, marriage is between a man and a woman. I'm not, I, I've always felt, you know how he always does that. I've always felt, I've consistently said, he always does that. He's always talks about how he always did this and he's always been consistent. But, he, but he's always changing 180 degrees because remember, in the 2012 election, when the the gay rights lobby wasn't going to give him any more funding, he went, yeah, you know, I think I'm evolving on this issue of homosexual marriage. And then all of a sudden, he said, oh, would, you, would you believe it? I've completely flip-flopped on this issue. That was one time he did that. Then, of course, you remember the, the gigantic fraud and the inducement, the, the, the one that, you know, makes Bernie Madoff look like a pickpocket, you know, that, that one, you know, I, uh, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan, period. You can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan, period. You can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan, period. He looks at the monitor over here, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan, period. And he goes, don't worry about it. You're not affected. You're not affected. And then, 180 degrees. And now, today, how many times did he say he didn't have the authority to do what he's doing? Now, forget about the constitutional question of whether or not that's true. That's not important. That's really less, well, I shouldn't say it's not important. It is important, but it's less important than the fact you don't know what this guy even believes. He says one thing for months or years, and then he just goes 180 in the other direction when it suits him. Now, how in the world can you people out there who support President Obama look at yourself in the mirror and know what the hell you're supporting? You tell me how you know that. I mean, is it like this? Is it like, well, I mean, I think I, I think Obama is says he didn't have the authority, so he mustn't have the authority. Was it like that for six years for you? And then tonight when he said he decided he had the authority, all of a sudden you were like, yes, Obama has the authority. Is that the way it works? Is that the way it works for you people? Are you really like that? I mean, really? You don't think it's just, just like follow the leader, follow the leader. Follow the leader. Is that is that what is that what you're doing? That's that freaking makes me want to run and and not stop. I mean, because that is really creepy. That is really creepy, folks. And if Obama supporters still support President Obama after tonight, after seeing all these 180s, and they and they can sit there and tell you and look you straight in the face and say to you, yeah, I know what Obama believes in, then you know some crazy-ass people, folks.